Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as I promised, today we will be discussing about the fancy um, filter panel within the Spotfire. So, so, how do we do that? Let's check it out. Um, so, to do the fancy filters within the Spotfire, the tools what you need before going and jumping and doing anything within the Spotfire HTML ed editor, I would always recommend you to do the development work uh, within the specific editors and test it out in the respective browsers and also use the layer designers, right? So, because it's mostly we'll be using the language is called HTML, jQuery and other stuff. So. I always uh, recommend you to use these following editors. So I'm using in this tutorial, I'm using the VS Code, um, Visual Studio Code provided by Microsoft. It is free and it has so much of flexibility and I'm very much comfortable in developing the code with this ID editor. However, you, we do have so many other editors like Sublime, Notepad, Plus Plus, there are thousands of editors out there in the market. But for this tutorial i'm using yes code and there is also sometimes you might need uh, your layout has to be designed uh, like a skeleton or something like that so once you design your skeleton make sure you develop you you write the code so that the skeleton will show up as a html and css format right so i again like i recommend um, i'm using the gravity designer because the icons you don't need to go and find the icons like you know or you don't need to create any icons you can find everything from the gravity designer so this tool is also free it has so much to you can develop so much so mo so many things using this tool okay and in terms of browsers perspective so i don't know if you if your company doesn't have this browser i recommend you to use the chrome even some companies doesn't allow the chrome but you can still use the um you can still use your internet explorer but when you have an option i just i i recommend you to use this firefox developer edition because it has so much functionality in terms of development Going back to the next slide, so I'm using this following languages in order to achieve the um, our requirements. So I used HTML, and so there are much more functional, different type of CSS layouts are available in the market, like CSS Reflex, W3 has their own CSS libraries and CSS standard editions. You can build everything from the scratch using the standard. But um, I see I'm using the CSS grid because it has so much functionality where you don't need to, uh, so many libraries has been already embedded into this. So you basically no need to uh, install or you no need to work on the learn much of CSS. So you pretty much do everything for you. And in terms of JavaScript, so there are many ways we can achieve this. Um, fancy filtering but I'm using the plain uh, jQuery standard JavaScript library but we also it has the JavaScript user interface we know there is some um, there are some tutorials like jQuery accordion or something like that but um, the thing is that they comes with the standard colors so I'm not sure how to change the colors because that library the jQuery library has been installed within the spot where so they came up with the standard color so I'm not sure how to change uh, the colors and the other things within the jQuery accordion so I'm not using the jQuery user interface but basically I'm using the jQuery and last but not least make sure you have the um, enable spot for futures so these are the following uh, features that has to be enabled within the spot before you even proceed to develop any of the fancy filter right so you make sure you have to enable this html sanitation to be false and for this if you do not have an access make sure you ask your administrator uh, he will be doing it he will do it for you but it, it definitely it will no need to restart any server or um, nothing is required um, and it's pretty much easy 
So and also you make sure that your JavaScript has enabled so that you will be using the jQuery so that editor has to be enabled for you. So that's it and um, I'll see you in the part two and we will start the development. Thank you. Bye.